greet you. I, the servant of the Lord, F.T. Summer. Greetings to you, the child of the covenant with God. What God say he shall do, he will do. I wish you again a happy new year. May God bless you so much in Jesus' name. We have entered into this year, 2021, with so much hope. But looking around what is happening in the world, the news we are hearing all over the world in our nation regarding the state and the condition of this monster COVID-19. Many, you are having questions. What does the future hold? Where is my hope? Where is my faith? Yes, looking at the dramatic increase of the numbers which are being infected daily and the mortality rate of people who are dying daily in hospitals because of this monster COVID-19 and any other sicknesses Fear has engulfed you. You are thinking, what about my dream? How am I going to survive? Others in lockdowns, things seem are not okay. We are in the death trap. Listen to me. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible says, We walk by faith, not by sight. This means, in time where we are not able to perceive the future by our own understanding, and how we look at things. We must live by our faith. Looking into the future, how beautiful it is when current situation seems nothing is working. God wants us to have faith at this very moment. This is a time we must have faith. Psalm 91, verse 15 to 16. The Bible is clearly telling us in time of trouble, the Lord will be there for us and will give us a long life. Looking at what is happening now, you will not see no sense. Nothing is making sense at all. Things keep on rising and coming against us. But we must have hope in Christ Jesus by maintaining our faith in difficult times as this. Child of the covenant, maintain your faith in this difficult time like this. Nations, 
Maintain your faith in this difficult time like this. We should walk by faith, not by sight. Because daily, we keep on hearing one thing to another thing. But God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In bad time, he is the same God. In good time, he is the same God. So when we have faith in him, and believe in him, things that are happening today will not overwhelm us but will draw us closer, closer, closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, the book of Psalm 34, verse 19, says, Many will be the affliction of the lashes, but the Lord will deliver them from all. This verse is telling us challenges will be there. Affliction will be there. Sicknesses will be there. Hunger and disease will be there. But God will deliver us from them all. I pray with you wherever you are. You are afraid. May you find a hope in Christ Jesus. If you are despair, may you find encouragement in Christ Jesus. If you are sick, may you find healing in Christ Jesus. If you are depressed, May you find comfort in Christ Jesus. Listen to me, child of God. We are going to walk in this time for quite some time. Many are the days of evil that are coming. But have hope in Christ Jesus. Many are the terrible days which are coming. But you must center your life not on your income, not on your qualification, not on your job, not on your career. You must center your life in Christ. For at this darkest hour, we must not see by sight. We must begin to live by faith. We will keep on hearing world news. The teller which is coming. But the Bible says, Though many may be affliction of us the lashes, God will deliver us from all. I pray with you. In time of this affliction, find comfort in Christ Jesus Christ. In time of this pain, find comfort in Christ Jesus. I speak to you in time of this challenge find comfort in Christ Jesus let me say something we are not taken by supplies for what is happening as God is doing his part. We also believers must do 
our part. Tomorrow is bigger than today. Yes. Tomorrow is bigger than today. That means if we must have the hope for the future, we should know how to spend well of our today so that tomorrow we should spare it for a good reward of our today's work. In time of this pandemic, this monster called COVID-19, and all negative news that are coming each and every day on our social media, on our news platform, on our world televisions, we should know that it is real. It is not fake. Because it is real, it is not fake. We should live in awareness. The moment we are aware of what is happening is a good time to get set and be prepared, soldier on, to fight. The fight I'm talking about here is not a fight of living in ignorance. It's a fight of living in awareness that this monster called COVID-19 is real, is killing people, is infecting people, both believers and unbelievers. If you must live tomorrow, you must take every necessary measure for you, your family, and your loved one to stay safe. So that tomorrow, we will all come out as survivors to share the testimony to the generation that is coming. We pass through the pandemic. And here we are. Take every necessary care. So that tomorrow you live. If you can't live for yourself, at least you have family, you have loved ones who looks up to you. People of God, take every necessary care so that tomorrow you will live. Today we will go. Tomorrow will come. We should expect tomorrow as a day to rejoice. If it is to put on your face mask, you should do it. The book of Proverbs 22, verse 3. Proverbs 2, verse 3. It says, A wise man see evil coming and hide himself. But a foolish man sees evil and goes where it is and get destroyed. Like I said, COVID-19, what is happening around the world, it is real. We must take every necessary measure so that tomorrow we will be survivors and we will live to share a story. Because of you, for the sake of your family, your loved one, if it is for you to wear a face mask as you go out there, you should do it. You should do it for the sake of your life and your family. If it is to wash your hands,
You should do it for the sake of yourself. It is simple, but it is light. We must understand we are believers in the spirit, but we are living in the body. We must take necessary steps to prevent our life and preserve it. When you are doing this, you are having hope of tomorrow. May God bless you so much as you are taking necessary measures to protect your life and your loved ones. As God is doing his part, we must do our part. Stay safe. Stay in Christ. Stay in believing. May God bless you so much. Prophet F.T. Samuel, Blantyre, Malawi. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.